Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Celeste and this is From Far Out. Today I have a hopefully very quick video um, to chat with you a little bit about strawberry quartz. Um, I'm sure you can tell from the title. But it's not often that I sit down and chat about one single crystal um, because I feel that sometimes there's more of a purpose and a why you should use crystals. Um, so not a purpose, but like, I, I like to go into a video with purpose, but today I just want to chat about one crystal, everything that I've been, uh, noticing, feeling, hearing from it as I've been working with it over the last couple of days. I pulled some cards before the reading that I want to share with you and I want to pull some cards together. And I'm also going to talk about some other crystals that I like to pair with strawberry quartz to get the most out of the benefits. So disclaimer, if you're not sure how my videos work, I'm not here to be like the 101 guru on how any of these crystals are supposed to work or what they're supposed to do. I'm not guaranteeing any medical benefits. Um, but I, I, I work with a crystal and I receive message either in spiritual downloads, through meditation, through dream world, whatever it may be. Um, and I kind of communicate those all into my little notebook. And I just feel them out, flush them out. So this is all really my experience and is solely intended to inspire and resonate with somebody so that it, it might connect with them in their life and offer some benefit in some way. So with all of that being said, the first thing, pulling out my little notebook, the first thing that I really want to touch on in terms of how I feel Strawberry Quartz connects with our energy systems um, so when two energy systems meet, a crystal and a person, two other crystals, whatever they are, um, they, they always bring something to the table. They can create something new in this like middle space. But um, at the end of the day, anything that has an energy has its own like it, almost DNA makeup, energy makeup. So it's going to meet you with what it has. You're going to meet it with what it has. And whatever that middle space is, if you can connect to it and you can like pull as much energy from the strawberry course as you can. Um, that is where you're going to find the most benefit. So be open to the energy that crystals have for you, um, but also understand what you are offering them. So that's why every crystal experience might be different because not only A, are you, or is every person bringing something different to the table, but each crystal I feel um, brings something different, especially if they're carved, like these two crystals, both strawberry quartz, um, totally different vibes because of their... Um, their polishing formation, whatever. And also, even if they were wrought, every crystal would have their own sort of DNA makeup, but they will bring, obviously, in the same essence, a similar beginning space, if you get what I mean. I lost my page. Okay, so I think I said this already, but getting back to the beginning, um, connecting our energy systems, it connects our truest intent, so that lives in our root chakra, where we work from, where we pull from, pull from all of the energy that gets pushed up into our bodies that's from our root chakra and it connects up to your heart chakra where we keep like our truest wants and desires our loves the things that make us feel good the things that feed us in this world um so i think that strawberry quartz is a really beautiful manifesting stone because this connects seed and fruit just like so in getting teaching Strawberries are very, very, very important. It's the first medicine that Sky Woman brought down that she planted in the earth to provide for all of the people on the earth. It was just her at the time, but to provide for the people in generations forward on the earth. Um, so the strawberry quartz, and the strawberry quartz was only named because of the color. So it's just like me connecting those things. Um, I look very oily. Do I look shiny to you guys? Whatever. Um, so connecting the uh, intent and desire is in the essence of very sexual experience, the act of manifesting. And I know that can sound a bit much for folks who have sexual trauma or who are worked on healing sexual trauma. Um, it's not, it, it connects to our sexuality zones in our sacral and root chakras because it like pulls up into the heart chakra. But I, I don't feel myself anyways. I know I have seen some people on the internet feel separately but I don't myself think that it connects to my um like sexual orgasmic desire like physical sexual desire maybe if you are a person that is already a very sexual person that always brings that front <laughs> like front to the table um you may feel that from her but I find um it's a little bit more uh like want and need manifesting so that side of desire that is not connected to our animalistic instinct instincts the side of desire that is connected to 
more of a, a feeling and a desire for, you know, satisfaction, peace, happiness, whatever it is that you um, truly desire. And that's why I think, let's get right into one of the crystal pairings. I've been talking about this crystal a lot. I've been working with this crystal a lot. Tangerine Quartz. I recently just did um, a short and a TikTok of like some messages, mantras, whatever from Tangerine Quartz that I had channeled. Um, but I think she is such a perfect connection to Strawberry Quartz because while Strawberry Quartz is, you know... <laughs> The, the the fertile soils of our ancestors and the things that our ancestors put into the world for our succession, that's what we're pulling from. So we have a bank that we're already connecting to in our, ener in our energetic systems. We have things that are given to us by our spirit guides and like this path that we are meant to go along. Success in all things, fruitfulness, bearing fruit, is our birthright we don't have to work hard to do that because that's what's being given to us and and that is what the strawberry quartz is it's that ability to fruit and that's like period like no question about it you will be successful and you will be fruitful depending on the portion of our our physical experience so our spiritual experience is very much a path given to us and um that you can you know manipulate and whatever i don't want to say it's like concrete but um, and then when we get into our physical experience, that's where we have a lot more free will. That is where, I, and I believe this, you don't have to, but I believe that we have choices every day and we can make different choices every day. And that's the part about freedom. And that's why we fight here in this earth for freedom, for all, justice, for all, whatever, like politically that means for you. But at the end of the day, we're fighting for freedom and justice for all. <sighs> that's totally irrelevant. I don't know why I went there. Um politics um but tangerine quartz is really great for finding and illuminating that path so finding out what what you want to do with your free will what is going to bring that feeling and fulfill the feeling of desire hope peace whatever you are fighting for in this life tangerine is going to help you tangerine quartz is really going to help you identify those feelings i am somebody who when i'm like even when I'm like really manic and dissociative, like no matter what end of the spectrum I'm on, I often like forget to ask myself how I feel. I forget to be like, do you want this or do you want this? And I kind of just like go with things. Um, and so Tangerine Quartz has really been helping me to feel, connect to my um, ability to create joy, my ability to um, exist successfully. Let's get into that. Um, when I'm setting these goals and I'm deciding what brings me joy with this tangerine quartz and I'm, you know, feeling all of the good, joyous feelings um, that are my birthright, one of the things that can happen in our manifestations is that we decide to settle. We say, I don't know if, you know, the universe is going to do all this for me, so I'm going to say... I'm, I'm good with this and just be grateful for this. And if, and if that's you and you just want to be grateful for this, please, by all means. But I'm telling you right now, the, the seeds that have been sown by our ancestors are to succeed our highest and most greatest desires. This is not like a, I'm good with this kind of vibe. Um, connecting citrine to your strawberry quartz is going to stop you from settling because of a low self-worth it's going to make you remember and realize how royal and rich the the soils that have been sown for you are how how much opportunity there is in the world to connect to um a lot of the the things that we perceive as success in our lives are based on our mindset and elevating our mindset is what is going to elevate our physical life whatever you're manifesting like whatever your goal is whatever you're working towards your mindset is step one in your physical manifestations. So all in all, strawberry quartz is a very hopeful stone and connected to any crystal that is going to help you manifest ma manifest your greatest hopes and desires. So wherever you feel like you could use an extra boost, whether it's in your self-confidence, your um, solar plexus chakra, or if it's in connecting to your feelings and your truth in your sacral chakra, um, those two I found very, very beneficial. But sometimes we get stop stopped up and kind of blocked up in our heart space feeling grief, feeling loss, um, specifically in times of transformation. And strawberry quartz 
is the the meeting of transformation the transformation from seed to fruit the transformation of old life planning analyzing picking figuring out feeling into the actual experience of your fruiting nature the actual experience of your manifestation so pairing strawberry quartz with a much more joyous stone, not much more joyous, but um, a very joyous stone, a heart-filled stone like um, green calcite. I don't have it with me currently. You know what? I think I might actually, yeah. Girl, you always got it with you. Um, so some green calcite connecting it into our heart space and allowing our heart to speak first, allowing our heart to be in front, allowing our heart to be vulnerable, to be making the decisions, to be like really leading. Um, because when we do that, when we let our heart be vulnerable, and I, I know that's really hard because the things in our heart are so special to us. And so letting them out into the world and expressing them into the world lets a lot of people judge you. And a lot of people say mean things about you, think mean things about you, send mean energy towards you. And that's very vulnerable to our heart. And so we will keep that. And and maybe your vulnerability is love. And maybe you feel very insecure when you're in a relationship. You crave to be in a relationship, but then it makes you very insecure and you're not really sure how it goes because love is so important to you and being connected to people is so important to you that now all of a sudden you're letting somebody be that important to you and you're like, holy fuck, what's going to happen if this doesn't work out, you know? I don't know why that came out. I think that just needed to be said, but it was kind of irrelevant to the path that I was going. So connecting your green calcite, something that's joyous, finding the thing that is going to open your heart center and allow you to be vulnerable and feeling the safety in that vulnerability and feeling that and, and knowing that the vulnerability is only perceived. Any mean thoughts or uh, energy sent towards you by other people doesn't have to be received by you. Bringing in again that, sorry, I'm like holding seven million crystals, bringing in again that citrine to sort of protect the situation and know that your self-confidence holds strong and holds true into your heart. Connecting these two and then having the fertility of the strawberry quartz intense would be a great crystal grid. Maybe I'll do a TikTok on using um, those three crystals in a crystal grid. Um, but so I want to show you these cards. So the deck that I pulled from, um, was the goddess guidance Oracle from Dorian virtue. And so these three cards kept coming up many, many times. So I shuffle like for my own and then I shuffle again, um, for collective and, and we keep going and I just kind of play around. Um, I don't need to explain that to any of you. You all know how to use cards. Um, but the three that came out were butterfly maiden transformation, Artemis Guardian and Astara Fertility. Can we not? Like, are you dead ass? So this idea of fertility, it says it is the perfect time for you to start new projects, assess new ideas and give birth to new conditions. That's what I mean by give birth. It connects to our sexuality and our ability to reproduce. And it, it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily have to be like bearing children and like that, like instinctual sexual reproductive organ um but our sexual reproductive spiritual energy in which we can manifest and grow ideas things businesses whatever it is that you're working on in your life and then of course butterfly maiden and transformation um or sorry artemis for guardian so the guardian is going to be that citrine and, and maintaining the strength and holding strong. But also a crystal that I hadn't mentioned yet that I did want to mention when we talked about guardianship um, is carnelian. Now carnelian, first of all, is a very motivating stone. So if you're finding a lack of like fire in your life, if you're finding a lack of like pushing forwards, carnelian is a great way to go. Um, but with that fire energy comes a lot of like breaking down. So if you feel like you're a person who holds on to things way too long, doesn't know when to let go, check out Carnelian. She, I promise you she will help you and just set fire to all the things that you don't need. She's so pretty. My son um, scratched me under my eye, in case you're wondering what that was. <laughs> um, so anyways, this guardian knowing that as you move forward, as you grow into this heart space, into this manifestation, you're not taking anything with you that you don't need to be carrying anything that's not you know watering or feeding your soil will not be taken with you in this space 
Um, so understanding that when people do say mean things or you let your heart be a little bit too vulnerable and um, you're feeling any kind of grief or loss in that space because you feel judged either by others or yourself, um, the carnelian is going to protect you from all of those energies. It's not going to let anything... Um, it's not going to let anything fuck up the vulnerability of your heart. It's not going to hurt you. She's just going to support you and be your friend. <laughs> and then, of course, our butterfly maiden for transformation is everything that I've been saying. You're experiencing enormous changes right now, which brings great blessings. And those great blessings are going to come from your heart space. Should we pull some more for you guys? Let's see. I also pulled out this deck. This is actually another Dorian Virtue, but this is like a, a super cheap knockoff. It's not the original deck because she discontinued all these, but I really resonated with the words. So I bought it from China. No, I'm just kidding. I bought it. I don't know. It probably came from China. Everything fucking came from China. Anyways, the Romance Angels by Dorian Virtue. Um, these are really sweet. I pulled some of these for me and they felt... Stop. You guys, unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Again, what I'm saying about carnelian, knowing when you need to let go, knowing when there's something holding you in this soil, something holding you in this like muddy, murky water that you're not allowing yourself to burn through, to push through. Um, don't hold on to things if they're not yours. Don't hold on to it. Let's do one more from these, these romance decks because I feel like these are really going to resonate with some people. Oop, fell right into my coffee. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Now, I know that these are obviously romance cards, but I do just want to emphasize that romance is not... Oh my gosh, I totally forgot to talk about soulmates. Soulmates. Okay, so this is, this is reminding me. Stay optimistic about your love life. They say, they as in people I've seen in the world... Um, have I've heard and had people say to me that strawberry cords will connect you to your soulmate. And I find the concept of soulmates interesting because while I do believe that we have like energetic companions and com complementary energies that will like really resonate and connect with us and, you know, boost us on our path. I don't necessarily think that that's like one person per person. You know what I mean? That is like, for sure going to be a romantic and sexual relationship i find that any true connection any true soulmate um has more more to offer you than just be than being in your life for as long as possible um soulmate connections to me are more of like what you know how i said about the the soil that your ancestors have sowed for you that spiritual path that's been given to you that's where I feel like soulmates come in and we, because we have this free will on earth and we can make all of these decisions, that doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to connect with every single soulmate that we possibly could because there's so many versions of ourselves going through these different um, like dimensions of energy. Now we're got, we've gone off the deep end, ladies and gentlemen. She said dimensions. I always feel like whenever I talk like this, like super candidly, like how I would talk to a spiritual friend, I'm always afraid that people on the internet are going to be like, girl, she said dimensions. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bitch, I did. Okay, get in it. <laughs> Anyways, um, so connecting to those true soulmates and connecting to what you need. It's not going to be the same need that like, that another version of you would need, if that makes sense. Like, okay, maybe I don't know what I'm talking about with soulmates because I'm, I'm trying to get a point across here and I feel it so deeply, but it's just not, it's just not communicating. Um, so let me know in the comments what y'all feel about soulmates specifically and let me know if strawberry quartz or any of the crystals that I talked about here today resonated with you. Um, maybe I'll do another video and, and unpack this whole soulmates thing, but I do not have the time today. So I love you all so much. Thank you for coming and I will see you in the next one. Peace and love from far out.